Hey, Flimsy Lunch Tray here, back with our new player guide series as we continue on in part 11 today. Um, we're going to be reaching uh, access level 11. Right now, uh, we're at access level 10. We're going to complete campaigns and we're going to be unlocking armory. So, uh, exchanging resources for new game items. So, basically, uh, we're just going to hop right to it. We're going to random battles because. Armory will take a little bit of time to discuss because there's a lot of important things uh, in the armory. So, because um, we're in random battles, I'm going to mount up with some, uh, hopefully, some good signals here. Uh, sure, we'll just take that one. I'm not going to take any of the special signals still just yet. And I think we've got the equipment that we need. Yeah. So, let's see what happens in a random battle today. I just played a co-op battle in the St. Louis, and it was mostly all humans on the team, so hopefully that means we'll have more humans in random battles. We will see. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> was there one? Two. Is it three versus three, and the other nine are bots? Yep. I'm tier three. and Okay, so we're actually top tier. Archipelago domination. So, ah, starting off on the flank. And so, A at C. What does it mean? A and C. Action stations. I think it's really actually hard to plan and devise a strategy when there is um, so many less human players. 6.5, because bots are just going to do what they're going to do. Main battery, 9.25. Okay, just, just reminding myself where we're at with this this guy. Because we really want to eventually get closer to a 10-point commander. And let's see. We have one destroyer. It's basically almost a mirror. So I chose some campaign uh, missions beforehand, too, in the Science of Victory. So uh, I completed the previous two in St. Louis. Um, and this one is torpedo-oriented. So if I get, I think, 10,000 damage torpedoes and I hit get six torpedo hits, I think we'll complete this next two campaign tasks I'm on. So don't forget to keep uh, those going as a player and um, being able to move up through. But when I finish uh, with St. Louis, we'll actually able to be able to move up to uh, was it South Carolina Tier 3 American Battleship. So I'm going to ride the line in the cap here. we got the human player coming in towards us. Don't want to dump Torps yet because they have a low range, but we'll keep in mind our detectability range. So I'm actually going to slow down. So if I have to pop smoke, I won't just be insta-detected. So it looks like he's going to step onto the cap. There's nothing I can do about it. So we're going to go ahead and smoke up. Uh, human player is priority target number one. Okay, we can actually probably go ahead and start dumping torpedoes now. I'm still trying to figure out what he's going to do. He's about to step onto the cap, so it's going to delay our cap progress. Then we'll have our next torpedoes up in 25 seconds, so if he keeps on a straight line, he's going to eat one or two of these, possibly. Or maybe they eat the one on the far left, or he's going to be too fast. Oh, he's turning. Oh, that was the wrong way to turn. <laughs> okay, well, there he goes. Unfortunately, the bot got the first blood a word. A word? I can't talk sometimes. So he's moving towards us, five kilometers, torps. Naval warfare tactics, I guess for capping? I don't remember what the achievement for that is. So basically we'll establish dominance on this flank and then we will move up. If I can land shots. Although this... Torpedoes are looking good. This one is, particularly. So, if you're wondering how I did that, 
Uh, after you fire or dump torpedoes, uh, you just press Z. And then if you want to switch between which shot, you just push uh, C. So Z and C is how you do that. I might actually be able to switch to armor piercing here, but he's literally almost dead. So I can pick up the kill. Oof, barely. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and motorboat on out. Let's see, right now we're down one and they're down three. So that's uh, a good place to be. I'm actually going to go ahead and open gunboat. I'm at a distance. This is a bot. He's focusing on the Chester bot in front of me. Okay, we just... Okay, our cruiser just killed their destroyer human player. So they have one human player left. I'm holding tab. Yeah. That's good. Because they're all kind of conglomerated like right here, which is uh, fine by us. I would really like to set this bot on fire if possible. I'm still keeping in mind that he might switch guns onto me. But I want to get closer so I can use torpedoes. Probably won't be on him. Um, not that we're not too far away, but I can use these islands in B to close the distance uh, on all those other guys in the cap. So right click is I'm free looking. Okay, he has switched to me. Or, or apparently can fire two different angles at once. So you can, that's annoying. So if I hold the right uh, or right mouse button, it goes into free look. So then it's instead of like just shifting. Sometimes I shift, but it just depends on what's going on. All right, so we're probably gonna take a little bit of damage here, but we're gonna dive in behind this island, and I think our team's gonna be able to finish them off. Because look at these guys; they're pretty low health in here at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, their Chester human player is about to go down. So we're going to just kind of edge out here. It looks like I have attracted their attention. See, now I'm just undetected. Now I'm detected again. And undetected. These rocks would be in the way of me shooting him, so that's why I'm... Switching him. Okay, I'm gonna step up and I'm gonna shoot him because he's giving us a, a nice side. Uh, blind fire there. -ish. I don't think anything. All right, let's see if we can finish him. And I can actually rush him in the smoke. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll go ahead and move up actually. There it is. That guy's almost dead. If, okay, they got him. So a lot happened there. So actually, we've done pretty well for ourselves. Now, I'm going to be conscious that this bot could be dumping torpedoes in this direction. So we're going to stay nose in. You can see he's still somewhere roughly right here. So his gun firing penalty, if he has one, should be like 2.1, 2.2 maybe. Yeah. Okay, so actually he's turning, so we want to stay nose in. We're basically denying him dumping torpedoes on me. Hopefully. It's being really wonky. Okay, there's the time. Versus going out on the side where we could potentially get some torpedoes off on me, so. We are doing our best to be conscious with that. So. Okay, there goes player. We're actually pretty close to capping. I'm going to actually make a torpedo run on this bot. We'll be patient. Patient in letting our prey move up so we can uh, only be assured detectability range. So make sure that's going to kill him. And then I am going to smoke. Because this is a good position to fire on both of those. Okay, or the game could just end. We could just zero point them or reach a thousand points first. Naval warfare tactics. For the first time, capture key area or the enemy base. Huh. <laughs> Surprised I hadn't got that one yet, I guess. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we did complete the 10,000 uh, damage, but we did not reach our full six torpedo hits, so...
Mm, topping the team at tier three with over 1,100 base experience. I've never played this game before. <laughs> uh, I don't have a different account with tier 10 ships. No. Okay, so now I'm going to exit out, and that's going to take us to uh, unlocking access level 11 without stopping video recording. Access level 11 unlocked. Exchange resources for valuable items in the armory. To unlock the next access level, play two battles. Fantastic. So it should give us uh, maybe some rewards. Oh, now that I've actually unlocked armory, um, you when you log into the game every day, it's just another way of Wargaming enticing you to hop on every day. Um, you get to collect these rewards, and if you collect all 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, then you reach a super container. So it basically gives you like four to six days roughly where you might be busy and you might miss a day so you still have a chance of getting a uh, super container so you get 50,000 credits you know free xp there's coal credits and um, more credits container more resources container but the last few days are uh, the best because you also get the balloons on top of premium day and the super container is epic because you can get like 10 or 15,000 coal, 1,500 um, steel, uh, doubloons. Um, what else is it that you can get? Uh, signals, uh, like 50 signals or something, or 50 uh, camouflages, like temporary camouflages, one time use camouflages. Um, so, this is uh, super containers are the bomb when you get them. They can be really exciting or they can be really depressing. So with unlocking a new access level, there is our 15,000 coal. I figured they would uh, give us that. This is rewards for 19 battles. And more resource container. Fantastic, fantastic. And then, yeah, so there's the armory. So before we go to armory, we're going to like kind of do some housekeeping. It's kind of helps you remember to keep things going. Let's see, next task, what's this one? Win and survive one battle. I think we could do that. Uh, rewards collected, 50,000 credits, and then containers. So now, when um, you can open containers individually, or you can also open all containers, which that's actually what I'm going to do, because I don't feel like opening them one by one. But you can see we've got 2,800 coal, 1,000 free XP, and some more signals. So, um, good stuff. And now we're going to collect our container, and there's the one that I, this one is the one you should always choose. Um, it gives you more resources to use in the armory so often it's coal it's free experience uh, i think sometimes there's signals there might be a patch emblem uh, a collection item um, but yeah because coal and free xp are awesome you can buy ships for coal you can buy ships for with free xp uh, so let's go ahead and jump into the armory uh, this is a new collaboration we're giving does these from time to time uh, I've never seen this anime show, Legend of the Galactic Heroes. You can get obtain commanders with unique voiceovers, themed permanent camouflages, and containers. So um, you can click show. So basically, it's Wargaming selling these uh, containers uh, for doubloons. Um, and the way you get doubloons is you purchase it in premium shop um, using your credit card. And you can get these, you can get like a hum, ginormous pack of stuff. You can get the event commanders, permanent camouflage. So it's these permanent camouflages here, the kind of spacey. I think the one for the carrier is uh, rather interesting for the Von Parsifal. That's what's there. So they've got a lot of things ticking for us. So Futured, uh, this is always here. Um, submarines for rent. Submarines have arrived in the world of warships. And we can actually get uh, unlocked tier 6 to tier 10 uh, submarines. 6, 8, 10. And I feel like the sound level for this is so loud. So it's kind of funny because to me, that's really annoying. Um, being a new player and then like, hey, I can <laughs> start playing tier 10. Uh, 
I mean, submarines are a completely new thing. I mean, they've had them in the game several times, but um, yeah. So basically, you either get a three-day rental for free or you get uh, 100 coal. But there's three of these. Okay, we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, 100 coal. So I guess you kind of get the perk of right now, if you're a newer player, when you obtain these bundles, uh, you can uh, start playing higher tiered, but you're going to feel... If you're a new player right now, you're going to feel really maybe uncomfortable uh, with not really knowing what everything's going on. Um, so just uh, be warned. This is a Dutch cruiser event they have going on, so you can uh, obtain these random uh, bundles. I think this is the one for you spend doubloons on. Yeah, 1,000 doubloons get you these things. So you can see there's this, there's a, this is a free-to-play multi- uh, what is it called? MMO. Massive multiplayer online game. Um, there's, it's free, but you can also spend a lot of money on the game. But um, if you guys are following along what's happening with Rorderships right now, I would just advise against spending money in the game uh, presently to do with the CC Exodus and whatnot. Um, the Dockyard. So yeah, we'll check that out too. Check it over to these. Oh yeah. Uh, that's this is what I was looking for. You can obtain for free these random bundles. So we're gonna get uh, a flying Dutchman camouflage. But yeah, so uh, future this will always look different depending on when you are. I can, you come back in uh, right now, uh, back in the game. You can keep getting more coal or unlock more uh, submarines, get more coal, and then you have okay, okay, I'm get, I'm getting there. Easy game. Uh, ships, so that's this one. So you can purchase ships for coal, doubloons. I know, I know, I'm gonna get there, game. Uh, coal, doubloons. Um, these are, I guess they have recommended uh, steel. So these are doubloon ships. Um, so once you unlock armory, you know, you can basically start playing very high tier. Uh, you can search just only for coal ships um have stop it's really just i mean it's i guess it's nice that they're showing you what all you can do i know it's okay i'm, go I'm going to tell them game i'm getting there i'm getting there um yeah so there's a lot of ships you can buy uh, even for lower coal so we have like eighteen thousand four hundred coal so we actually we could already buy some ships in the game right now the charleston is basically it's spit an image of the st louis it's uh just a tiny bit different. And you have the Cable Town. I think my my first tier, my first coal ship in the game was the Agla. Agla is a fantastic tier six uh, destroyer, in my opinion. You can even preview the ship in port. Quick show in port. And you also get a coupons so you can use uh, in the game. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Um, I mean. I won't do like a necessary like, oh, I recommend you buying these certain ships right now just because it really helps if you spend some more time like playing in the game and just the tech tree before you just start randomly spending money because there's some things as a newer player you're just not going to be aware of uh, how they work because you get into a lot more gimmicks like, you know, if I dive in on the kid, right, uh, I go to show and port. This is a good American destroyer. Um, you know, we're just at tier three right now. We've not played tier four ship yet, but it gets a little more complicated, um, with, uh, you know, now we're dealing with depth charges where we actually have good AA defense kids really good AA. Um, you have more consumables like this ship has a repair party. You can actually heal back some damage you take has defensive AA. Um, what else does it have or engine boost? It's just all these things. Um, that can be kind of overwhelming at first as a newer player so um don't worry these ships will still be here uh, right now um as i'm recording this uh, during update 10.7 um some ships they do rotate out um but i mean the agla has been in the game since i started playing back in the fall of uh, 2019 so you can get your hands on some commanders so there's some really good commanders here for 175,000 gold um, you can buy uh, commanders, like 10-point commanders for 
uh, doubloons or 35,000 coal. I have both John Doe and George Doe. I have a couple of these other commanders. Um, you start running into commanders that have enhanced skills. So your turrets turn a little faster. Uh, gun feeder, um, time taken to switch between shells. The standard uh, unenhanced skill is like 50%, um, but here it's negative 75%, so even faster. So uh, these different commanders have different perks, especially like uh, you go to these guys. It gets a little more complicated. There's more things going on. You have the will for victory. It's a can-be activated thing. Like uh, if you're about to die, um, you have HP that will slowly recover. Like your health gets that low. Uh, so they're uh, quite fun. This is a new Dutch commander they've introduced into the game with enhanced skills of demolition expert and focus fire training. Um, even uh, Dasha Parova, uh, who often she does the uh, updates for uh, World of Warships with when there's a new patch hits, and you can see she wears attire, kind of reasonably different nations, but she doesn't have any enhanced skills. Uh, enhanced skill commanders have this little star uh, just in front of their name. So like this guy, I think I, I have him or it might be the other one. And you see he's got actually four enhanced skills um, and one really good for destroyer survivability expert. Uh, gives you more um, health pool uh, with this enhanced skill versus an unenhanced skill. You have containers you can buy. You have these ones you can buy for doubloons um, or premium containers, that is. Um, these all have to pretty much do with collections. So if I opened up this one, it will tell you what your chances are to get. Keep in mind, this is a lot of money. 14,950 doubloons. Um, uh, what would that be, like 50-ish dollars or something? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, then you have coal containers. So if there's uh, some collections, um, like I said, they can. there's collections in the game that you can unlock. Um, and if you don't have that collection started, you can get it started by like purchasing one of these containers. So uh, I think this collection, if you complete this one, it gives you a... Is it a super container? Or it's a Santa, I think it's a Santa container. I think it's this one. So as an example, I'll go ahead and purchase it real quick for a thousand coal. You guys don't have to do this, just uh, want to show you. Here's premium account you can buy for doubloons. Um, I run premium account uh, always on my North American server account. Um, at the end of the year, uh, there's a Christmas sale that World of Worships does. Um, and you can buy a whole year of premium. Uh, instead of spending like 100 US dollars, it's like 49.99 US dollars. Um, so that's like half off what this doubloon amount is. So um, like beforehand, I kind of buy I would buy some 30 days intervals. But when there's this Christmas sale, you can save a lot of money. It does help you progress through the game a bit quicker uh, when grinding up tech tree. So it, it's a nice perk to have because it it does do a lot. Um, they don't actually label all what it does, but it, it does help. Customizations, you have upgrades for your ships. Um, you can purchase for coal. There's also coupons with that. There's signals. We can also uh, use coupons. There's both for coal and credits. There's camouflages we can buy, um, different amounts. There's steel as well. Ranked tokens. So, you know, I can buy, uh, if I get 10 uh, ranked tokens, um, I can buy. Uh, this camouflage I'd go on my Bourgogne. It's a premium French battleship. And yeah, you have a naval community. So these are community tokens. Uh, you get so much of those, you can buy like, oh, we could buy, we've got 2,000 of them. We could buy as permanent camouflage for a tier five New York skull. Um, you can use them to buy camouflages, but I'd recommend saving community tokens up uh, to buy, for example, ships, uh, these ship camouflages. Um, or even um, uh, these different containers. Um, you have a chance to unlock some pretty cool stuff, or you save 10,000 or 30,000 of them, you can even uh, get uh, tier premium tier five ship or premium tier seven ship. So I'm actually saving up for 30,000 on my NA account right now. Here's this uh, the event. We talked about submarines, Dutch cruisers. Um, 
if I earn these Dutch tokens, I can start acquiring these bundles. So I, I used all my Dutch tokens to basically, uh, well, not all of them. You, you only get so many up high, you won't be able to reach all the way through because you um, will need to spend real life money to get more Dutch tokens. But then I use some others to get some signals and stuff. Dockyard. Uh, yeah, if I click on this, this takes me to... Um, since I'm in Norway, it's telling me if I um, buy these different things, how many Norwegian kroners it's going to cost. So this is like the equivalent of $2.50, something like that. Um, yeah, so um, you have this. If you click Wallet, it'll show you your credits, doubloons, coal, steel, research points. Um, we haven't unlocked the research bureau yet. Um, there's some really cool stuff in there. Clan tokens, ranked tokens, community tokens, free experience. You can buy ships in the game for free XP. I have several ships uh, I have acquired in the game for free XP that in real life would have cost over $200. Uh, but you just save up your free experience. Um, and then you have coupons, which is really good. So uh, you get these two coupons once every uh, six months uh, where you get 25% off a ship that you'd purchase for doubloons or uh, another type of ship that you'd purchase for steel or coal, 25% off. So I do typically always try to use those. Um, yeah, definitely always use this one. Um, I'm not giving Wargaming any money right now, but uh, if you wanting to purchase a ship for doubloons, because you have to spend real life money to get doubloons, uh, you can use that coupon. Uh, these upgrades, 25% off. So instead of, say, 17,000 coal, it's 12,500 coal. Uh, signals uh, for both coal or credits, um, you get 50% off. Uh, and here's another one for 25%. And camouflage is for 25%. So as an example, let's go look at signals. Uh, there's a cheap one. It's kind of fun. I'd like to buy a lot of them. Uh, Hotel Yankee. So... Damage caused by ramming an enemy is increased by plus 50%, and damage received when ramming an enemy is negative 20%. So uh, you actually take less uh, damage. Um, I usually run this. I don't really usually run it on destroyers, but I will definitely run this on battleships and sometimes cruisers. So if we use a coupon, uh, we can get, um, you know, you can see we're saving some credits. But these are the cheapest ones. I don't really recommend uh, using credit uh, coupon. So I'm fine swing to and 240,000 credits. Um, one that uh, you do want to use that on is the Juliet Charlie. So look at that, 1.9 million credits. And I just bought the other one for 240,000 credits. So definitely gonna use that 50% coupon and we'll have zero risk of detonation. So just kind of using the coupons right now. I don't necessarily intend to just start slapping them on the sh uh, my ships right now. See, and then there's another one. So uh, these are actually really good, but because we just started out, um, we don't really have many of the other signals. So uh, this one is uh, flooding recovery time, negative 20%. I'll actually just go ahead and use a 25% off coupon on this one. Uh, so if you get flooded after taking torpedoes, your recovery time is going to be quicker, which is really good for battleships. Because you're at the lower tiers, you're big, bulky, you're slow. Uh, we also want the fire signal. NDA Yankee. So this one's also 1.9 million. Fire extinguishing time, negative 20%. So we'll use the other 50% coupon here. And you can see just buying camouflage is how fast your credits run out, right? So low tier, I don't really recommend using too many of these signals. So yeah, now we're down to 2.8 million. Uh, it goes quick, don't it? Um, we still have one more. What would be another good one to have? Yeah, 2.4 million. These just make your ship go faster. So that's that's the most expensive signal. Um, this is for a secondary battery. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy it because while I have the coupon. Well, actually, how many credits is it going to us, cost us to get the next ship? So if I hover, okay, less than a million credits. 
And then when I go for the South Carolina, 309. Okay. So we'll, I'll go ahead and burn that coupon right now. And then uh, I was going to show you the dockyard. See, and then I logged back in and they're intentionally putting this uh, before me. Yeah. Here. Not that one. It was... Oh my, I just forgot what signal we were looking at. What was the health signal? Oh, it's, it is this one. This one, if like when you use a repair party, you'll get more health back, but it's nice having the 50% coupon. I'm just trying to acquire uh, signals right now. Oh, it was the secondary uh, signal flag. Continuous AA damage. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, secondary. So we're going to use more of these signals later on. Not so much at the lower tier. Maybe tier four and up. We'll start trying to use these signals more. But you can see it costs a lot. And you don't necessarily earn a lot of credits starting off like see the st louis battle and co-op i earned thirty-two thousand credits uh random battle you're gonna earn more credits so in this battle we earned ninety-eight thousand credits so see see if i start burning and spending all those signals like i'm gonna run out of credits really fast um so we're just gonna we're gonna hold off um, we're not going to just dive in uh, using all those signals right now because you're going to put yourself in a really bad financial situation if you just go and spend them all. Uh, so I was going to show you the container too. So we're going to open it. So I got these two uh, collection items and seven of these signals, economic signals. So if I click on this, it'll take me to the collection. Um, so now I've unlocked it. Well, I guess I already had it unlocked. But when you finish this collection, you get a Santa's gift container. I got a tier six uh, West Virginia American battleship out of this. Once I complete this collection on my NA server account. So, And then you have the dockyard event going on. And this is an event you also need to have tier five or higher for. So you get these levels. You go through 24 levels and you'll un uh, get this tier eight. Dutch cruiser. Uh, it's a you only be able to acquire this ship through the dockyard events. Um, it's not a very good ship because they base the ship around the airstrike. So there's these airstrikes you can call in, and the ship itself is kind of eh. You set fires, and that's really about all you do. You have really good AA defense, but that's it. But the more the reason the attraction to this. Uh, you, as you build through these phases, is the reward. So when you get towards the end here, you get 10,000 coal and you get 1,000 steel. Uh, steel is a hard resource to come by in the game. I like commander XP, containers, special signals. You actually even will get this a tier 5 premium ship container, level 14, or phase 14. So basically how you progress through the Dutch dockyard events and future dockyard events is twofold uh one is you like for that ship you have to buy three phases with doubloons so you can buy three phases on sale at 3950 doubloons rather than spending i think it's like oh let's hop back into it uh then 4500 doubloons or something so if i click details so to acquire the ship this is the minimum you need to buy this otherwise each phase is 1500 so 1500 3000 4500 doubloons or i can save myself 550 doubloons and buy this first um, or you can even get a bigger discount if you want um, in acquiring this uh, nine phases for 8950 doubloons um, but there's these combat missions uh, you get See, it's 24, 21 combat missions uh, in the dockyard event. We have to have a tier 5, tier 10. You go through and you get these shipbuilding tokens, uh, shipbuilding phases. Um, and so as you progress, you get those rewards um, for each uh, ship phase completed. But 
until we get a tier five ship, we are not going to be able to get uh, any uh, of these tokens or progressing this at all. So it's another way of Wargame kind of trying to like, hey, you should spend real life money and buy a tier five ship uh, and starting out and going higher. So. so yeah, so I think that covers everything I want to talk about today. Um, we will uh, definitely be uh, getting some battleship gameplay um, happening soon. Oh yeah, you can't play this ship in random. You can only play them in co-op. Oh, I don't know. That's weird. Can't battle in it. Um, but we will be moving through the tech tree. Uh, we will totally check out South Carolina. So I'll show you a different uh, ship class in game. Because right now, as you know, we've both only been focusing on uh, tier or cruisers and destroyers at this point. So. Yeah, I think that's going uh, to call it. Uh, always make sure to check in on your news. Uh, see what's going on here. Mm, that didn't have any free things. I don't think this had anything free. This one doesn't. You can leave feedback. Public test server you can play on. Yeah, this one didn't have anything. video yeah so there's nothing new here uh in the sense of i can or get something for free they do have combat missions so like i can choose an alliance here when you win battles um target hits and stuff uh you'll get these rewards eight galactic empire or free planets alliances camouflage so we'll just Free Planets Alliance sounds cool. So now it says congratulations for participating in the offer. We hop back into combat missions. And we should find it. Yeah, so now we're participating in this. So again, tier five or higher. And we can achieve these things. So all right, minute video's already gone over 35 minutes. So we want to close it up now. So if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you do want to see more. And if you are subscribed, really appreciate it as we continue to show you this new player guide series. So hope you're having a good week and take care.